What's up, y'all? I want to do one real quick because I get a lot of <laughs> a lot of kickback, a lot of feedback, a lot of questions, a lot of just, you know, scenarios thrown at me. And uh, there's <laughs> more people are, seems that they're more scared of our government than anything. Well, if you know, <laughs> which most of them don't, they're stuck in their own little world, sitting their asses on their couch, watching a bunch of bullshit on TV and believing what they hear. But they're not thinking about the big picture, you know. You already know about the silent majority and all that kind of deal, but more of the things that are going on is that people are saying, well, why aren't we doing anything? There's just so many people just like me. I just, oh, we just, let's do another video. That'll help. Say, so, well, yeah, it brings awareness, <laughs> you know. And there's too damn many drama queens. That's what it is. We have too damn many drama queens that believe the bullshit, believe the drama, and believe all that other kind of Hollywood shit, you know. And <laughs> it just gets me all the time because I've seen this shit more than once in my life. I... Six, seven, eight, nine times that I've seen something one way or the other. Wars was going to kick off. Yada, yada. You know, I was, uh, I had people that lived through the, the Cuban Missile Crisis and all that kind of stuff. The Vietnam War and, and everything else. People always thought Iraq and Afghanistan was going to kick off something. Then there's everything else that goes on with Israel and everybody that hates them and Hamas, the Muslim Brotherhood, and blah, 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 every other kind of Islam thing against Israel over the years and all. And it's all a bunch of propaganda bullshit because it keeps people like, oh God, oh God, who's going to push the button next? You know? And I'm like, wow, man. Wow, people are so freaking wound up over a whole lot of nothing. Now, you see in the stuff that's happening on the TV with all the people coming here, that's true. But it's more happening in other states that back that kind of crap. As you can tell, I'm in Texas. My governor is stepping up and having some titanium balls to do something. And, you know... The people, right along with Trump, when he comes back, the American people will help him facilitate that kind of whatever. Now, people talk about this dictatorship and all this other kind of... No, 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 no. <laughs> More people are going to realize that the dictatorship they're talking about is more just Trump being an enforcer of the laws. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Because if you were to enforce the laws and shit like what we have on the books now, with actually letting the, the death row people get done, not sit on death row for seven, eight, nine, ten years, get me? You start cooking a few of them down there and you watch these people start turning around and then you watch the crime stop and drop because the crooks will actually see somebody because the adults have to step up sooner or later, right? Well, you're going to see the adults actually back the laws that are on the god dang books. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. Like old Clay Higgins. One of these guys is just, you know, and I'm, I'm one of them and there's millions of us <laughs> that know that's all a bunch of crybaby bullshit. You know, the Dylan Mulvaney's of the world. We, we ain't paying attention to them. They're nothing to us. But all these other morons see some crap on TV and they got to just immerse themselves 100% in it. 
And there's where your stupidity comes from. So, it's everybody that is believing the bullshit propaganda. And there's a lot of us out there that know damn well that our government ain't even going to do anything. Because our guns and the U.S. citizen outnumber our government, outnumber our police force. We have, if the United States of America, all the people were to come together and we were to have to literally force us into banding together and doing something, we'd be the greatest force on the face of the planet. That's just all there is to it. No military, <laughs> just the American people. You're talking a hundred... 100, almost 200 million plus. Man. But the drama queens just keep on, <laughs> you know, I laugh at them. It's a lot of people that uh, need to grow up. <laughs> Stop believing their TV and all the bullshit that constantly put out, man. Biggest thing we can do, like I say, keep your boots on, stay ready. That right there is going to be our biggest deterrent, period. Stay ready, okay? Just stay ready. Have that confidence in yourself. Take care of business. Do what needs to be done. Take care of you and yours. And then get in touch with your neighbors around and all that stuff. And then formulate a plan. So if anything happens, bam, you know where to meet. Bam, you know who's doing what. Bam, you know who's going where. Bam, you know who's going to be, you know, taking care of certain things. Yeah. Act like a military top unit. Militia. <laughs> what they call it. So, y'all just take it easy. Stay ready. Keep your head on swivel. Pay attention. Like I say, everybody say, well, what are we doing? Why is everybody doing it? What should we do? What do you want us to do? We still have gas. We still have lights. We still have groceries. People are still going to work. What do you want us to do? You know? Wow. Drama queens, drama queens, drama queens. Right? <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Y'all hang in there. Like I said, keep your heads up, head on a swivel, eyes wide open, pay attention everywhere you go. Get supplies for your house. Say like if you have to be in your house for months on end, three or four or five months or something, you know, do you have the food, fuel, water, medical, things like that to keep everybody comfortable. Guys, and also everybody remember this. I've got some other videos down there, but I'll try to revise some stuff. You can still bake a cake on a grill. Yeah, you can. Biscuits, the whole nine yards. All you need is a heat source. Comfort food. Yeah. Sweet stuff, things like that. Yeah. Got to stay on top of it, guys. Think of your women, think of the children, the kids, and all that. When shit goes down, they're going to need comfort things. Yeah. Hopefully, we can do what we can to where we do not raise any more drama queens. Right? God bless the United States of America. Screw you commies, you know the drill. Y'all keep that confidence, keep that heart, keep that spine, Jack. We're Americans. Act like it. God bless the United States of America and screw you commies again. Woo, boy. Gonna fire your ass up. Have a good day, Patriots. Later.